What's up, everybody? It's your boy, student Dr. Malachi Wright, and I'm back at you all with another video. Uh, and in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you guys through a day in my life where I'm also gonna be talking about what I'm going to be doing this summer. Um, so firstly, I wanna start off this video by giving you guys a brief update. Today is March the 27th, I think, something like that. And we just got finished with our operative class. So operative dentistry is a class where we were doing a lot of the drilling. So like class one, class twos, class threes, all that good old stuff. Um, and we had a final for that class last week. This week is a pretty hectic week. Uh, we have two exams this week. So we have one exam in a class called Perio and then another exam in a class called Neuroscience. Uh, and both of those classes are pretty dense. So I pretty have much have a pretty packed day today in regards to studying, not so much um, class. I have gross anatomy lab later on today, so I'll take you guys with me to the lab. Um, obviously not showing any of the cadavers because we want to be respectful, but um, I'll show you guys the area which we go to go do the dissection lab and all that good old stuff. Also, for those who are studying for the DAT, I have some super exciting news for you. One of the things I wanted to mention in my previous video that I failed to was, was that I have been in partnership with DAT Bootcamp, more specifically in regards to the DA or the dental school uh, bootcamp that they offer. But if you're studying for the DAT and you need a great resource to use, I would definitely 100% recommend DAT Bootcamp. And I say that because DAT Bootcamp, I've studied with them for eight weeks right after I had my surgery, which was a super hard time for me. I was extremely uncomfortable while I was studying, but their resource really made my studying really efficient. If you want 10% off, please use my, my coupon code, which is MWRITE10. Um, I'll put it up on the screen so you guys can see it and get 10% off of your purchase at DAT uh, Bootcamp, whether it be the bootcamp or whether it be for the dental uh, bootcamp thing. So. Like I told you guys, well, I haven't told you all yet. Right now, it's around uh, 8 o'clock. So it's literally just 8 o'clock. For those who know me, you know I just got back from the gym. Uh, I go to the gym every single morning. So yes, you do have time in dental school to go to the gym and do what you like to do. Uh, do you have to make an effort to make, make sure you have that time? Definitely. Um, and another thing that I get asked out a lot is what my sleep, my sleep schedule looks like. Um, so I'm the person, I'm the type of person I need at least 6 to 8 hours of sleep every night. I'm usually in a healthy medium, so I get about maybe seven or eight hours of sleep, which is super important, uh, especially if you have like certain fitness goals or if you really just wanna be optimal when it comes to uh, doing work and doing school. You really wanna make sure that you have a decent amount of sleep so that you can function throughout the day and not have a headache or anything of that nature. So yeah, I get a great amount of sleep. It's eight o'clock right now. I woke up at six o'clock this morning, went to the gym, got in about an hour, hour and a half workout, uh, and now we're back here. I have to leave my house today at around 8.40 because I have to drive 40 minutes to go to the headquarters of NIH. Um, and you guys might be wondering, like, why the, why the heck are you going to NIH? Um, and this is basically the title of this video. So what I'm going to be doing this summer and pretty much like a life update. So this summer, I've had the privilege of collaborating with some individuals and we'll be working at the NIH in the Department of Oral Facial Cranial Surgery uh, to do research on oral cranial uh, therapies that are most prominent and most um, relevant in today's society. So I'm super excited to be working there. I'm working with an uh, individual who goes to my school right now. His name is Dr. Jeremy uh, Pine Pina. And uh, he's actually an uh, individual who has his PhD in biomedical sciences. And he's also pursuing his uh, doctor of dental surgery. And he has a whole bunch of other degrees as well. So this, this dude, he has like a, over 100 uh, publications. He's just a really phenomenal guy. Uh, he happens to be uh, my, my mentor at the school. So he's super awesome. And then we're also gonna have another individual coming down from Columbia University School of Dental Medicine to be working with us in the lab as well. So it should be super exciting and I'm really thrilled to be starting that. But in order to do that, I need to go pick up my ID. Um, and you guys know when you're working with the government or anything like that, you need all these different credentials, all these different forms of identification. So I had to go pick up my ID badge. And then from there, I'm gonna be heading straight to the school because I need to get some studying in it. But what I'll probably do, since right now it's eight o'clock and I have to leave at around 8.30, because I have to be there at 9.20, I'm going to get at least 30 minutes of studying in. Um, I also have to straighten up my room a little bit because it looks a little crazy. Uh, then we're gonna go from there. So I'm excited to bring you all along with me for this day. Please stay tuned to the end of this video. Like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, like always, and let's get this day started. All right, so you know what didn't happen? 
30 minutes of studying. That's what didn't happen. Uh, obviously, that was a plan, but that's not what took place. Um, so right now, it's 8.25. Um, when I checked the time, it was actually like 8.10 when I was talking to you guys earlier. So I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to have that much time to study. So pack my bag, clean my room up a little bit, and... Now we're going to be making this 40 minute drive to go to this NIH to get this, this badge. Um, so typically it's obviously Monday and typically we do have class like basically like all day kind of. And typically I would be in class right now at nine o'clock. Like this is prime time class time. But for some reason we don't have class this morning. And it's probably because of uh, operative being like not a thing anymore. So... We have a little bit more time, at least this week. And then next week we start lab for uh, radio and perio. So that should be fun. All right, pro tip. One of the pro tips that I would say for going to University of Maryland School of Dentistry is Media Site. Media Site is a website where we can go on, on uh, and watch all the lectures either live or watch the lectures when they're pre-recorded um, or recorded after they're done. So I told you guys we have two exams this week. I haven't started studying for my perio exam. That's on Thursday. Um, and I have like maybe three or four watch lectures I need to watch. So we're gonna try to get two of those out of the way on a drive to the actual NIH location. And hopefully we can get two of those done. Um, I know you guys probably just saw what I did, <laughs> but this is a cheat code for those people who are safe drivers, okay? I'm not recommending this. But one of the things that I do if I'm in like a time crunch and I need to watch electric lectures, I put the steering, I put the the iPad, this is a 12 inch iPad Pro, right on the steering wheel. And the funny thing is like, it doesn't come out when I'm driving. So it stays right there. So it's, it's pretty safe. Um, I can just watch my lectures right here while I'm going to my destination and it's pretty efficient. So you guys know me, I drive a lot. I kind of do a lot of different things throughout the day or throughout the week, like events and stuff. So this is kind of necessary. All right, so we got the lecture pulled up. About to get this going. And you guys know me, I'm gonna watch this in 2X. So I'll see you guys when I get to my destination. So we're pulling up at the location right now. I'm trying to review some of these old lectures for Perio, man. It's gonna be a rough one, uh, but it's, it's all good work. This building is huge. I have no idea where I'm going, but hopefully we'll figure this out pretty soon. All right, y'all, so we're heading inside. This place is huge. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to get this identification and we'll be out in no time. So I'll see you all in the field. All right, so I'm not gonna lie, y'all. That was a little bit of a process. All right, so I'm leaving the building right now. Well, obviously you can tell it's a different building. Uh, that's because I had to go to three different locations. So I'm leaving the location right now. I had to go to three different buildings to, in order to get access to this military campus. Like this is like a military uh, facility. And apparently I needed to be cleared and checked. So I had to encounter a whole bunch of police officers clearing and checking my IDs and stuff and then from there, I had to drive to a whole nother building to get my fingerprints done. And apparently, I'm here for fingerprinting, not ID pickup. So I need them to do a background check on me first. Then once my fingerprints are done, I can come back and get my ID at a later date. But I'm glad that the fingerprints were done. Uh, the whole process took about maybe 40 minutes. So I'm about to be on my way back, uh, which is about like another 40, 45 minute drive. Uh, I was able to watch one lecture and review one lecture. And I'm gonna start doing some practice questions in a little bit. Uh, right now it's 10.20, I believe. Um, and hopefully this doesn't take too long, but it's 10.20 right now. Be on my way back. I don't know if I wanna stop by my house or if I wanna go straight to the school. I'll probably go straight to the school, which meaning that the drive may be like maybe an hour, but we're gonna get that done and I'll see you all once I get there. All right, also one of the things that I kinda of wanted to talk about a little bit was um, things that you can do during the summer throughout dental school. So I know a lot of dental schools, the curriculum may be a little different. Like some dental schools, you have to uh, be on campus. You have classes during the summertime. It's just so lucky for us that during our first year at the University of Maryland School of Dentistry, we don't have any classes during the summer. 
Um, so going forward, like in the D2 year and D3 year, we will have classes, but this summer we don't. So we actually have a full summer this summer. So most people spend this time, you know, just relaxing, chilling out, going on vacation, spending time with family, all those good old things, uh, which I will be doing as well. And you guys will see in the later in some later videos. But I'm also going to be engaging in a two month research program uh, at the NIH, uh, like I talked about before. Uh, they also offer a plethora of research opportunities at my school. Um, there's volunteering events and stuff that you can do over the summer. So there's really a lot that you can do. And honestly, if you're an incoming D1 student as well, these opportunities are open to you uh, as well. Or if you're a pre-dental student, really look out for internships you could do at the NIH or different internships you can do at um, even Howard University. I know I did some in their advanced college of science enrichment program uh, when I was an undergrad or there's another one called like Shepep or something of that nature. So um, research all of those things and these are all great things you can do to not only help gain your experience but build your network as well uh just wanted to mention that and talk about that a little bit before i get on the road and get to a little bit of studying so like i said before i'll see you all in a few We're about to leave right now to go to the school. All right, so I decided to come home instead of go straight to the school because uh, I wanted to study at my desk so I can get through some of the, the, the slides. Uh, and then also I needed to make sure that I had um, all my stuff prepared for the next day. I kind of like to have all my stuff out the day before. So that way I don't have to worry about like getting prepared the next day or the other night before or whatever. Um, so yeah, I went back to my house for about maybe an hour. Uh, I got back to this end around like 11, 10, 11, 20. So I've been back for about maybe an hour. Right now I'm on my way to the school and we're going to Gross Anatomy Lab. So right now it's 12.36. Gross Anatomy Lab does not start until three. But my group, uh, is meeting early so for those who don't know when you're in gross anatomy lab you work with three other people for the most part at least at our school so we all work on the same cadaver and we all have like a group chat and we work and we wanted to know if everyone could make it a little earlier because i told you guys before we have an exam tomorrow so i'm quite sure everybody wants to take some time and study for that exam for the rest of the evening so everyone wants to meet early today which is cool I'm down for that, so we're gonna go head there. Hopefully I'll get there by uh, 1.15 and we'll be good to go. Um, so yeah, I'm on my way to the school right now. Um, I was able to get through like maybe two lectures. Uh, this was just like reviewing notes for my exam tomorrow, that's in neuroscience. I'm gonna try to meet up with the crew, if you know, you know, um, after lab so that we can run through the slides for neuro and then call that a wrap. We'll do some practice questions and then that'll be it. So I wanted to take some time to just talk about what my piece of advice would be for anyone who's like on their way to dental school or like has been an admitted student and are kind of like figuring out what they should do before coming to dental school. Uh, my biggest piece of advice would be to do nothing. And what I mean by that is obviously if you want to work, then you can work. Um, if you have a job, you want some source of income, then do that. But when it comes to like school related stuff or studying, cause I know some people, uh, they, they try to study stuff before they come to dental school and all this stuff, try to get ahead. Um, personally, I wouldn't suggest it. I wouldn't do it. I would just wait until you get here to learn everything you're going to learn. Um, it's true when they say they teach you everything that you need to know. Obviously there are a lot of people in my class who have done like master programs or who have been like assistants or different things of that nature. So they know a little bit more about the, the, the procedures and everything like that. But at the end of the day, everybody's gonna be learning the same material, the same content. Um, so I would just enjoy your summer before you start school. 
um, and then get mentally prepared for always being busy. So practice being busy uh, before the summer starts, obviously. So you want to relax during the summer. But before then, uh, just get get used to the idea of being busy continuously because that's what your life's going to be when you get into the school. You're going to be busy. Um, and it's a good type of busy. So don't think it's going to be stressful uh, all the time. Sometimes, obviously, it will be. But um uh, get used to being in a good type of busy so one cool thing about our school as well is that they provide us ppe for when we go to the gross anatomy lab like my girlfriend you guys know she's in pt school they don't get ppe when they go to the gross anatomy lab uh and they were in there for much longer than we were they're in there for like maybe five six seven eight hours a day uh and we're only in there for three or four hours so they're definitely in there longer and they don't get ppe so i don't think i'm gonna run to my locker to get my ppe today because i'm already kind of running a little bit behind schedule so i think i'm just gonna wear my scrubs obviously i have my shoe covers that i wear uh and i got my scrub cap too so i'm gonna put that on but everything else i, I should be pretty good to go and not have to really worry too much about it just got to the garage and we're gonna head inside in a few minutes i don't know i might change my mind on the ppe y'all Depending on the time, it's like one o'clock right now. I still got about 15, 20 minutes. So I might actually head to my locker, get my PPE and put that on for for, for this lab. Um, I do need to go get my hand pieces from Prep Dispense though. Uh, but they're closed for lunch. Okay, well, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But I'll see y'all when I get inside. All right, y'all, so I actually ended up going to get the PPE and now I'm heading into the med school building uh, to go to lab, so let's do it. So typically, these labs last around, the amount of time should be like three hours, but they're probably not gonna take that long. They'll probably be in here for maybe an hour or two, and then hopefully we can get out pretty reasonably time at a time. All right, guys, so we're leaving the lab for gross anatomy. Just got finished with that. Now we're gonna head to the dental school to start studying for the neuro exam tomorrow. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> uh -oh. I'm shy. You're shy? I'm shy. Right. Well, guess what? We have an exam tomorrow. How's it going? <laughs> what are we thinking? How are we feeling uh, about the exam tomorrow? I felt better. Yeah, I yeah, feel that. Felt better, that's all that I'll say. Felt better. <laughs> Oh, of course, <laughs> of course. So you know, we're all gonna go study. Welcome to dental school, you know, in March. So see you guys when I get to this room. All right, y'all, so I'm leaving the school right now. Uh, it's now like 7.20. Um, I'm gonna go home, eat some food, and then head to study for the exam again. Uh, we just had like a four hour study session, so it wasn't too bad, but um, yeah. Honestly, it's like we just changed locations, never really changing what we're doing, just moving to another spot. So I'll see y'all when I get back. This is the part of dental school that you guys don't typically see. That's when you're a commuter, you gotta go get some gas. You know? Blue lightning. Let's see how long or how much this car will take in gas. All right, so I heard the click. Let's see. All right, that's 1776. 
at three dollars and thirty-five cent a gallon. For a full tank, on E, not too bad. All right, so we have about another four hours. Let's do it. Four hours. Amen. I need a four. Let's go.